So we're just going to look at a simple definition of what is marketing. Um, then we're going to look at some old marketing techniques and why they worked when they did. Um, and then why they stopped working. Uh, and then I want to talk to you guys about how we shop as consumers. And then um, based on that, we should uh, kind of look at how we shop as consumers and know how to market the products better from that. So here is Wikipedia uh, entry for marketing. Um, so it says, marketing is a process by which companies create customer interest in goods or services. And um, it generates that sh the strategy that underlies sales techniques, uh, business communication, and business development. So I think one of the most important things to know is the business communication part. Uh, marketing is really about communicating your value to your uh, potential buyer. Um, so, so I think that's something that, you know, maybe just keep that in mind as we go through this presentation and as you kind of see how marketing has changed over the years. Okay, so here's traditional or old marketing. Uh, so how it works. So they, just, they were just working with a different set of media um, from back in the day when they were marketing. They had uh, print media like newspapers and magazines, um, radio and TV were really big channels, and then things like billboards, trade shows, um, those kinds of things. So, so that, those were the channels they had to communicate with their audience because, again, remember that marketing is just trying to convey your message about your value to your target customers. Um, so that's what they had to work with. And, uh, and this is how it works. Um, traditional marketing model for growth. Uh, there's advertisements, and you'd invest in advertisements, which would um, increase your awareness, and then it directly increase sales. And then when you had more sales, your ad budget got bigger. So you could reinvest in advertising and just keep going around and around and around. And that's how you got companies like Procter & Gamble and all those big, massive companies um, that just, you know, back in like the heyday of television and everything, uh, they just kept reinvesting in uh, traditional advertising. Okay, so why, it stopped, why did it stop working? Well, first of all, we got overloaded with advertisements. Um, just telemarketers were annoying us. Uh, commercials were becoming ridiculously long, sometimes like almost short movies. They'd like have themes and storylines and everything. Uh, and they're showing, you know, how many previews of the movie theater. Uh, I read a, a study a little while ago. I wish I had the source for it, but um, it said we're exposed to over 3,000 advertisements per day. Just walking through a typical day, you see 3,000 plus ads just completely insane. So because of all that overload, uh, we got super good at blocking it all because we're all sick of it. So, um, you know, for telemarketers, we have things like caller ID and the New York State Do Not Call Registry that they're not even legally allowed to call us. Um, we record shows on DVR or TiVo and we skip ahead to the commercial or skip through the commercials just to watch the actual content. So they're not getting us there anymore. Uh, we have iTunes, iPods, we download all of our music, or we stream it on Pandora and GrooveShark, where we don't have to listen to any advertisements. Um, and then, uh, also, uh, traditional media is super expensive. Um, advertising to the masses, when you, you know, probably are only really hitting a small percentage of the people that might actually buy your product. Um, you're, kind of, you're just kind of shooting, blanket shooting, spraying, and hoping to get something. Um, it's just super expensive. Uh, you know, print and TV time are really expensive, and things like um, uh, trade shows, you have a lot of travel costs, so those are, attendance in those is, go, is going way down, just because you're not getting the bang for the buck anymore. Uh, here's a sweet cartoon that I found that I really like. Um, it says the difference between direct mail and junk mail. So direct mail is just like a mailer you're sending out to a client hoping they'll buy something. Um, you usually send it out in like thousands, um, to a mailing list that you bought somewhere or, or that uh, you got from like a trade show or something. So on the left, it says Josh at work. He says, with any luck, this direct mail will increase my customer base. And then it says later at home, look at all this junk mail. What a waste of trees. So it's just like, it's, it's, it's almost like idiotic. And like, it's really funny when you, when you really think about it that if you're managing a marketing campaign and sending out direct mail, then literally driving home and throwing away all the direct mail you get. It's... Very ironic, and I, I love this cartoon, it's pretty cool. 